sing it together. May we learn to sing it in every moment of our lives to all those around who will hear the wonders of the grace of our great and mighty God. We sing together this morning the hymn, All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name. Would you join me with singing that from the depths of your heart? Stand with me as we sing it together. Welcome to First Baptist Church, Bowling Green, Kentucky. We are so thankful that you're here today, and we are so thankful to get together as God's people, and today we get to celebrate some amazing graduates who are getting ready to enter into the new chapter God has for them, and we're going to celebrate them here in just a moment, but before we do, I want to remind us that our reason for gathering our reason for being at First Baptist Church is that we would trust and follow Jesus Christ in every single moment that we live. So when we gather on Sunday mornings, we pray that this would help all of us trust and follow Jesus in every moment that we live all week long. We're glad you're here, and we're thankful for the gift of each other. God gives us each other as a gift so that we might help each other in our burdens, that we might celebrate together our joys, and we might walk together through our sorrows. And we have to be connected to do that. So if you have never connected with us at First Baptist Church, we would love for you to do that now. If you're in the room in the pew rack in front of you, there's a card that says get connected. And we would invite you to fill that out on the front and the back and drop it in the offering plate as it passes by later in the service. You can also fill that form out electronically by going to our website at firstbaptistbg.org slash connect. We also want to invite you to read God's Word with us. I was reminded just this morning, doing the reading for today, that God reveals Himself to us as we read His Word. And so many times I'll have people come to me and say, Pastor, God never speaks to me. 
Well, God has spoken through His Word, and when we open His Bible and we are there in the presence of His Holy Spirit, you know what happens? He speaks to us. He spoke to me this morning, and I promise you, if you will open His Word, and you can follow along the plan that we're doing, or just, just open the Word and start reading, He will speak to your heart. I promise He'll do it. So we want to invite you to read God's Word with us. Um, tonight we have a deacon's meeting at 5 and a business conference at 6, and I want to encourage you, if you are a young adult, mark your calendars for Sunday, June 2nd. We are having young adult worship on Sunday, June the 2nd, and we want you to be a part of that, and uh, we want you to come and connect with other young adults here at First Baptist Church and journey together through all of life's moments. Uh, one other thing. As we get ready to celebrate our graduates, if you go out in the narthex after the service, you're going to see a couple things. Number one, you're going to see that each of these graduates has a table set up with memorabilia from their high school journey. And I've gotten to look at them, and, and, and I'll tell you, I've known these guys since they were little kids. And um, man, we're so proud of you all. We are so, like, biblically proud. You know, like, like, like we are grateful to God for who you are and all that you have accomplished, and you're just getting started. And so we join your families in thanking God for you and in celebrating everything that this graduation moment celebrates. But there's a way that you can bless them, not only by coming to their tables after the service and seeing all the wonderful things that they have on display, but there's another table out in the narthex as well that's got three Bibles laid open on it. And TJ came up with this idea, and I think it's a wonderful idea. We want you to take one of the highlighters that is there on the table and highlight in these Bibles your favorite verse, your favorite passage of Scripture. Now, somebody might have already gotten to your favorite verse. They, that happened to me. So you know what you do? You go to your next favorite verse. Or just go to a favorite verse. You know, the Bible's full of great verses. And we would invite you to highlight that verse and then flip back to the front of the Bible and you'll see a list of people who have written their names because they highlighted their verse. And we want to invite you to add your name to that list. And I'm going to tell you, we're going to be giving those Bibles to these graduates as a keepsake and as a treasure that they can always have to remember this day, to remember their church family, and to know that no matter what, no matter where they end up, they've got a church family that loves them is praying for them, is supporting them, and is always pointing them to God's Word. So please take a moment on your way out, if you haven't done that already, to do that before you leave today. Well, now we get to honor these graduates, and so I want to invite T.J. Renfro, our Minister of Students, to join me on the stage, and he will give the graduates instructions of what's coming next. Well, we're going to go ahead, go ahead and have the graduates go ahead and come up here with me, join me so they don't leave me up here stranded. I am not graduating today. Uh, but we're celebrating these graduates and we're so thankful for them, so thankful for their families. Uh, these students have been a part of our church for uh, most, if not all, of their lives. And they've made an incredible impact on all of us and all of our church family as well. Uh, so we're going to ask each graduate to come to the podium, share their name, their parents' names, the name of the school from which they're graduating, and their plan and their next step of life. So you can go ahead and come on up. Hi, my name is Finian Alcott. I am the son of Mark and Sean Alcott. I am graduating Bowling Green High School and I'm planning on attending UT Knoxville in the, in the fall studying computer science. My name is Emma Cox. I'm the daughter of Carrie and Kevin Cox. I'm graduating from South Warren High School and will be attending WKU in the fall with a major in studio art and a minor in entrepreneurship. My name is Brooks Guerin. I'm the son of Angie and Jeff Guerin. I'm graduating from Bowling Green High School, and in the fall, I'm attending Sky CTC to pursue a major in computer science. Well, again, we're so thankful for all these students and everything that they mean to us, but let's go ahead and pray together. Lord, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for the gift of coming, you, coming to you and worshiping you today. We're thankful for these graduates and what a blessing they and their families have been to First Baptist Church over all these years. I pray for your hand to continuously work in their lives as they take this step into adulthood and help them to put you first in everything that they are doing. We're thankful for your commission on our lives, and we continuously pray that we are obeying the command of going and making disciples. Use us where you have called us and allow these students to carry out the, that commission as well. Thank you for Jesus, and thank you for the sacrifice on the cross. 
We love you, and it's in Christ's name that we pray. Amen.
You have been so, so good. And so we gather as your people to say together, we proclaim the goodness of our God. We proclaim the faithfulness of our God. Thank you, Lord, that you are faithful to walk beside us in days of joy and triumph, like what this is for our students who are graduating. And likewise, Lord, you are faithful to walk with us through the darkest and most difficult of days. You give us hope, you give us promise for what will be all of eternity, spending life with you in grand perfection. But for now, Lord, may we be found faithful, even as you are faithful to us. May we be the people you've called us to be. In Jesus' precious and holy name, together we all pray. Amen. See you.